How much would a wedding ring cost? Um, I want my wedding ring to be from Tiffany & Co. So I want it to be like 20000 30000 That's pretty good. What about you? Um, to be honest, I don't know. It doesn't matter to me. Like, Give me a price. 1000 1000 is pretty valid. What about you? You see, I'm trying to make money when I'm older, so like they got they got to match my energy. So like like 25. 25. Ooh. What about so, you? So today I saw a TikTok and I saw one that I liked and it was 16k. But if I love you, I'll take anything. I'll take any yeah. any size ring. Even a ring pop. Even a ring pop. Even a ring pop. You're a real one. You're a real one. What about you? Well, I wouldn't take a ring pop. I want either Tiffany Co, Cartier, anything expensive where you could see like a mile away. 10 miles away, 20 miles away, 100 miles away. What up, team? Man, man, man. Sometimes I just got to laugh, man. The delusional women in, in America. Now, some of these women have common sense and they understand that it's not about the ring. It's about the person presenting the ring. But where do they get these numbers from? Where do they get these numbers from? Now, these are younger women. Of course, they have no no uh perception of how hard it is to get twenty thousand dollars these days and for a man to drop twenty thousand dollars on just your ring twenty five thousand on just your ring thirty thousand on just your ring you know it's pure insanity and and this is this is what is being fed down to all the women because even the older women they feel the same exact way they think that a man should buy a ring upwards upwards of twenty to thirty thousand dollars. Now, what are your thoughts on this? Because this ring doesn't doesn't mean what it used to mean, right? It's not a, for an eternity anymore. You know, most marriage after five years are in danger of failing. It's fifty percent divorce rate in America right now. You know, for you to get down on one knee in public and propose to a woman with a twenty thousand dollar ring, she does not have to be loyal to you. <laughs> She could want to ruin the marriage, you know? You can invest that, that amount of money, right, in, into, into your family, into a woman. Create a family with this woman, and she would sabotage that relationship and end it, you know? So men have no incentive to want to provide that kind of a ring to a woman anymore. You know, we're talking about uh, marriage as a union where it used to be uh, your wife was, number one, she was a virgin well sought after and number two she would be with you for a long time you know I've I've, I've seen uh, some of my friends their parents were married for well over 50 years some of their parents are married 30 40 50 years you know but you're not seeing that anymore man you know you're not seeing that anymore but some of these ladies let me let me just be the devil's advocate some of these ladies had some common sense and they knew it wasn't about the money. It wasn't about the amount of money that you spent on the ring. You know, a couple of those ladies had, had level-headed thinking, so there's hope, fellas. They're not all gone, they're not all lost. There's hope, right? <laughs> it's a needle in the haystack, but you know, it's possible to find women who are traditional and feminine, and, and they're not just thinking about draining your pockets, man. But I love to hear your thoughts. You think 20, how much you think let me, let me rephrase the question. How much do you think is suitable to spend on a wedding ring these days? And let me know if you guys are still interested in being married, you know, even with a 50% divorce rate. <laughs> if you like what I do, guys, hit my thumbs up. See you guys on the next one. Peace.